Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations coming at you today on this beautiful, lovely Monday evening. That is right. So if you don't already know and you can't get loaded into the game of Princess Connect Redive, um, then that's going to be because the servers are officially down for maintenance. And last but not least, rumor has it that once these servers officially come back alive, um, the global release will be upon us. So that's going to be the reason why you can't get loaded into the game currently at this moment, at this time of you watching this video. But Nevertheless, I wanted to bring you guys today my top three units that you should definitely be re-rolling for if you were going to go down the re-rolling avenue. So again, this is going to be based upon um, Princess Connect Redive in 2021. Um, so we kind of did a lot of research when it comes to the JP version of the game. It doesn't look like a whole lot is going to be changing from the JP version. Now, they did add a couple of quality of life stuff like skip tickets and that sort of thing. Um, hopefully, when it, when it does drop globally. But nevertheless, we're going to be diving in today into three specific units. And I am going to break up um, these three different units into different categories categories based on the content um, that you are looking to cover in the game as soon as possible and why you should definitely be re-rolling for these three um, characters or waifus um, as most people call them. But as always, before we dive in, if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest information when it comes to mobile games, and yes, that includes Princess Connect Redive, um, then be sure to smash that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time we drop a video. And with that being said, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen, the first section that we have of the three that I'm going to feature in this video, and that is going to be none other than Clan Battles. That is right. So if you don't know anything about Princess Connect, and this is your very first video diving into the game, there is going to be what they call Clan Battles. Now, Clan Battles, from my understanding and from all of the research that I have done when it comes to the JP version, the Japan version, if you don't know what JP stands for, um, it's going to be Clan Battles is going to be what you would do in game. That's going to be pretty much you're going to want to get in a clan as soon as possible to rank up in clan battle to get additional resources and that includes that currency in game to pop off 10 pool summons i um, mean not only that just a lot of other resources along the way but one of the biggest things that they're facing right now in the jp version is that if you do not have um, a specific unit, which we're going to cover in a second, um, they they pretty much just no high tier level clan will accept you. It's unfortunate, but that's going to be pretty much the way that the game has just been playing out when it comes to clan wars from my understanding. Again, I haven't had access to any clan war stuff yet at this moment, so I can't really vouch and say, yep, 100%, you need to make sure that you have this person in order to get into a high tier clan, but don't take any risk. It's the JP version. Nothing has really changed um, a whole lot from the JP version, from what I am finding out from talking to people in the community that have been playing this game for quite some time, including in the JP version. So let's go ahead and hop over here to the first um, hero. And the first one, obviously, 100% um, top of the line, absolutely clan battle god. That was going to be none other than um, Makioto or Makioto, however you want to say her name. But she is going to be um, the absolute mad lad when it comes to clan battles. So this is going to be the chick, like I said, that a lot of top tier clans are not accepting um, you know, players into their clan if you do not have a copy of her. So another thing that makes her really, really special is that you can actually get her um, once you rank up so far into the shop you can actually get her um, shards from the shop so you can actually summon her from there and I believe that's the only spot that you can get her um, in the game um, besides potentially a banner or something like that but that's gonna be the only spot that you can actually get her and that's gonna make her very very rare and not only that it's going to allow your clans on day one if you happen to re-roll and get her um, you're gonna be able to progress very very fast up the clan um, battle system so you want to just make sure you got a copy of this bad chick if that is what you are looking to accomplish in the game as the clan battle again this is not going to be based on a tier list or any type of system like that um, I did do a little bit of um, research just to double check the heroes that I am, I am selecting to make sure that they do rank on that tier list, but um, I, I'm not going to cover a whole variety of different heroes. I'm only going to cover three in this video because, again, you're re-rolling, right? I mean, you can't re-roll to get 9, 12, 13 heroes, um, so... 
I just wanted to show you guys or at least help out those that are following me currently on my channel that are going to be diving into Princess Connect with me, um, you know, and, and just give you guys a little bit of information on what heroes um, to definitely seek out, depending on what type of content you are looking to cover on day one. So again, um, Makioto, um, she is going to be very, very OP when it comes to clan battles from what I, I can find out and the research that I am getting from the JP version. Um, so again, do not sleep on her. Now, one interesting part is here is they don't have the six star union burst on the specific website, which is going to be the Princess Connect fandom site. Shout out to you guys um, for delivering this information. But nevertheless, you can kind of see basically um, what makes her really, really good. So it basically says inflicts medium physical damage to one enemy in front and physical damage debuff to target. Again, nothing special here. They kind of left um, the six star um, principle out. I guess we could click the full um, card system here. Uh, maybe we hit skills. Does it do a better job of actually breaking down exactly what it is that we are getting? So um, um, let's see here. So level two with a unique equipment um, inflicts large physical damage to one enemy in front. Um, again, doesn't really give us a whole lot of information. Reduces physical damage um, of the nearest enemy target. Um, medium increases to medium damage to all start of the battle. Okay, yeah, so again, it doesn't really break down a whole lot. That's kind of uh, unfortunate, but nevertheless, um, I have just seen her name everywhere. Um, so again, do not sleep on her, especially when it comes to getting into clan battle content. So moving on to the next section, and that is going to be none other um, than the PvP goddess um, herself. So that is going to be Hat Soon. So if you don't know, or Ha Soon, however you want to say her name, if you don't know anything about this chick and you are looking to dive into specific pvp um aspects of the game then this is going to be the op um unit for you i can't stress that enough she's going to be absolutely ridiculously good um and right away, I'm going to just dive into her skills just so you guys can see exactly why she's absolutely amazing. So the first one is going to be inflicts medium damage to all enemies. Large um, additional ma magic damage is dealt to enemies who deal physical damage and slight reduce their magical defense and stun them for six seconds. That is going to be absolutely ridiculous um, when it comes to PvP. So she is probably, honestly, from what I have read and all the research I have dug up around her, um, she's probably going to be the best magic user user in the game and she's going to be very centered um, around utilizing in a lot of different team compositions or counter team compositions I should say to very beefy and tanky teams when it comes to the arena and princess connect redive um, again She's going to have that, that stun for six seconds. Um, she's going to then do a large um, amount of damage to all of the enemies, so an AoE damage. And then last but not least, she's going to do that additional or a large additional magical damage to enemies that um, that basically who have who deal physical damage. So again, if you are going up those to, against those meta defensive comps, this is going to be absolutely a shredder and a counter for that. Again, definitely a really, really good unit. If you are looking to climb up the ladder in PvP, um, Hasun is going to be the best um, option for you in my opinion and like I said not only that this is not my opinion personally because you know I've only been playing the game for less than 24 hours on the soft launch server um, but just basically all of the research that I was able to dig up so Hasun is going to be the next one all right so last but not least is going to be none other um, than Maho or our or Maha, whatever you want to say, however you want to say her name, again, but, you know, um, please pardon me on um, my pre my pronunciation, I'm just a dumb American who is trying to pronounce Japanese, um, you know, words, so again, bear with me, but... Nevertheless, she is going to be my, so far, my one love um, waifu. And the reason why is I just absolutely love her, how she is the perfect balance between PvE and PvP. So she's very vital. You can use her on a lot of team compositions in PvP, um, but she is going to be very, very good for PvE. And that's going to be the section and the last section that we're going to be covering in, the, in today's video. Um, is going to be that PV, um, PVE um, realm. So not only does she have what really, really sets her apart. Um, well, I guess before we dive into what really sets her apart, let's read her skills. So you can see right here um, at that six star union burst, um, she basically gets a magic attack and physical defense buff to all allies, TP recovery to all allies, and regenerates TP over time to all allies. Now, if you do not know, in Princess Connect Redive, TP is going to be some sort of uh, um, a system that allows your um, hero's ultimate abilities um, to be used more often, right? So it's going to be, I mean, in a sense, now it isn't exactly the same, but in the sense, it's going to be like a cooldown reduction um, is the best way to explain it. 
Again, they use the term TP, um, but basically she's going to be a absolutely OP unit because she's going to then give TP recovery to all of your allies. And not only that, gives you regenerate um, or are going to be able to regenerate TP for all of your allies over time as well. Again, just absolutely ridiculously OP when it comes to covering PVE content in the game. Um, and then not only that, it's going to just basically allow your team to put off a lot more damage because they're going to be utilizing their ults a lot more and a lot more frequent which then again in turn is going to put out a lot more damage just just way way wicked when it comes to trying to cover um content in pve um again like i said she is very vital and you can still use her in pvp comps as well so don't sleep on her um for, for pvp and that's going to be the reason why i really chose to pick her as my as my um, third unit to choose. Again, all three of these units are going to be that three-star um, rank. If you don't already know, I'll hop over here to the main page so you can see. Um, but um, all three of these are going to be the, the three-star heroes. Um, and then not only that, like I said, they're going to be specialized into three different categories. Just to re-summarize, we've got the PvP, um, PV, um, PvE, and then also, last but not least, we do have the clan battles. And that's going to be um, um, Makioto, um, Hasun, and then um, Maho for the three heroes that I definitely think that you should be re-rolling for, if nothing Thing else um, finds you um, fancy on the tier list. So that's going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super excited to dive into the game um, once it officially drops in global. Now, unfortunately, I will be potentially at work um, all day long, so I won't be going live or doing anything like that, unfortunately. I'm um, like, I know some of the other content creators that are currently covering the game will, but nevertheless, I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and the support, and as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments um, what you guys think about this game. Are you picking up the game? Are you playing alongside of me in the game? game um and if you're not let me know the reason why you're not playing it but anyways i love you guys i will see you guys on the next one <laughs>